Grade 12 advanced functions reviewing exponent laws. All right, let's have a look. Here we have an exponential equation because we have the x in the exponent. And usually there are two ways that you have to keep in mind. The first way is ask yourself, can you make both sides have the same base? If so, then do it. If we cannot, then you can check out my other video for such example, you will have to use logarithm. But for this one right here, let's look at 16. Hmm, can we break down 16? Sure thing, it's 2 to the 4th power, right? So let me write that down as 2 to the 4th power. And then raise this to the x squared plus x. And on the right hand side, we have 1 over 2. Well, guess what? We can also write this as 2 to some power. 2 to what power will give us 1 over 2? Well, the answer for that is negative first power. So, notice we have the same base now. Well, here we just have to fix this exponent, and then we can do the following. Check this out. The two states, when we have a power raised to another power, we can multiply these two exponents. So, we we'll take 4 times, right, because it has two terms, so use the parentheses, and this is 2 to the negative 1. Okay, distribute 2 to the 4x squared plus 4x, it's equal to 2 to the negative 1. Now, because both sides have the same base 2, in this situation, that means the exponents have to be equal to each other. So, this right here, we just have to focus on 4x squared plus 4x being equal to negative 1. So now we have a quadratic equation. And to solve this, let's move the negative 1 to the other side. Okay, and now can we factor this quadratic equation? And the answer is yes. I'll show you real quick. We can do the tic-tac-toe factoring real quick like this. What times 12 will give us 4x squared? Hmm. We have 2x times 2x. That's a possibility. But we can also use 4x times x. That's another possibility. The correct combination is 2x times 2x in this case. Let me show you. For the 1, it's just 1 times 1. Why is this correct? Because we take the 2x times 1, we get 2x. We take the 1 times 2x, we get 2x. Together, we add it with 4x. Good. So that means it checks out. So that means this factors to get 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1, you go across like this. And if you want to see how we do the tic tac factoring, I will provide another tutorial in the description. You can go check that as well. And then you know, the other one is also 2x plus 1. So we can write this as 2x plus 1 squared equal to 0. Now, for something squared to be equal to 0, the inside has to be 0. So that means 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Or if you would like, you can also take the square roots both sides. Yeah, and then plus minus square roots is just zero. To solve this, move the one to the other side. Divide both sides by two. So x equals negative one over two. And that was it.